Hey guys, it's Amy here from Sunshine Functional Healing. And in case you don't know um, who I am yet, I am a functional medicine nurse practitioner and I specialize in helping women um, overcome their fibromyalgia symptoms so that they can get to loving the life that they um, used to know prior to the fibromyalgia. Getting organized and having organization in your life is definitely helpful for improving happiness and to help maintain um, your life throughout those bad days. Um, if you were to have a flare or things just aren't going the way that you are hoping for. Creating an organized life and maintaining it isn't really as hard as you might think. Of course, it's going to require some planning um, and some time to get things set up. But once you um, get it going and you implement these six tools that I'm going to share with you today, you're going to feel more focused. You're going to have more control over your life and it's going to just um, flow easier for you. So the first tip here is to get a paper planner. Planner. So yes, um, even in the age of digital, having a paper planner does still have a place and is a, an amazing organizational tool um, that you can have. It doesn't have to be a big and bulky or even expensive one. Um, so you don't have to follow like the latest trend or anything like that. Just a generic um, planner will do. Um, your paper planner um, can include things with for task items that you may want to keep a close eye on um, and then also a spot for making notes. Secondly, you're going to also want to have a, an online calendar. This is in addition to the paper planner. An online calendar or even an online app um, on your smartphone is going to be essential. This is a handy tool um, that you can have with you wherever you go. Um, wherever your phone goes, you will have access to that calendar in case you forgot your paper planner. Um, and you'll have the benefit of being able to have text alerts as well for scheduled meetings and things like that to help keep you on track and doing what you need to get done. Thirdly is having something like Evernote, and you can get this at Evernote.com. This is a handy tool that is free, but does have some paid options that provide more functionality. However, for most people, the free version is all you really need and is going to be completely sufficient. You can clip whole web pages, URLs, you can create notebooks, you can share information, you can create and draft documents, and you can add PDF files. It is an online tool, but has apps for smart devices um, that are going to allow you to sync your notebooks across all of your devices so that you can have it and access what you need at any time. Having a financial planner. So if you're using a bullet journal, then you may decide to create a financial planner within it. If not, then you really need to create a dedicated financial planner. Um, this is going to be where you're going to record your finances, such as your income and your expenses, as well as your savings. You can keep track of bills due um, with a monthly bill payment um, calendar inside of it to make sure that you're um, staying on track with your payments. And if you don't want to have a paper planner for your finances, um, there's tons of free um, online financial planner um, and tools that you can use. Um, one good one that I've come across is um, Good Budget, which is a free app um, on your iPhone or on your Android phone that you can get. You're also going to want to start using a to-do list. Your to-do list may be an ongoing essential tool to keep your life in track, keep it running smoothly and perfectly organized. Paper lists are great because you can carry them with you and display them wherever you um, need to so that you don't miss something on there. Um, these are also, there's also plenty of um, to-do list apps that you can get for your phone that are going to help you create and monitor and organize your list. Suggested apps are the Todoist, T-O-D-O-I-S-T, and Jamie's To Do, which are both free. Another tip here is to use a fitness pal. So a health and fitness tractor can really help you monitor your exercise. Um, you can also monitor your diet if you wanted to. Um, it depends where you're at and your journey, if that's really essential to you or not. Um, but the a fitness pal is popular. They come with free online tools. Um, you can use it with your Android and um, iPhone apps. Um, and it contains a huge database for tracking um, 
and creating personalized diet and profiles um, so that you can keep track of everything that you need to. These six tools can really help you stay on top of organization. And there are obviously a ton of other tools out there available for you to use um, and may help you in your journey to becoming more organized and to have an organizing um, plan and life going forward. Um, having organization, especially if you're trying to reach your goals, um, or if you chronically have bad days, things like that, it's going to make your life easier. It's going to help you reduce your stress. Um, reducing your stress is going to definitely improve your fibromyalgia symptoms. So I hope this has been helpful. Um, if you've liked the video, make sure you click like, and if you are not a subscriber to my channel yet, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I do a um, new video every week on Tuesday. So I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, don't hesitate to reach out. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.